Welcome back to my channel. I have another SCT sampler kit for you today. I do love these kits and I do have a playlist on my YouTube channel of previous kits and um, I'll give you just a quick detail about these. Um, these are from a magazine company and they're very small samples of products so you get partial packages and that is perfect for beginners and it's wonderful for um, enthusiasts who just want to get a taste of something that's the latest and greatest out there. So I subscribe to a year subscription and that costs me about $13 a month and I pay quarterly. Now there are other subscription options available, they just cost slightly more. So I think these are affordable and I think you get a lot of good product. So let's go ahead and dive into this kit. Now they always come in these little cardboard packages and you just tear the strip off and whenever I get them in the mail I give them a good feel because they I'm often intrigued by um, what what could be chunky inside there. Now the kits always have a theme word and they come with this card that highlights the theme word and the SCT magazine um, provides that card with a theme word and they also provide an embellishment. Um, sometimes it's a foam embellishment. This time it's acrylic and it has been for the last couple of kits. And um, we've also gotten a couple of bonus acrylic pieces, which was a pleasant surprise. I didn't quite expect that. I have been subscribing to these kits since the fall, so um, I'm getting used to how they change it up through the seasons. Now on the back of this card is a list of all the manufacturers, and I always have to take a pause and separate things out, because if you're not entirely aware of all of these companies' products, then um, it can be a little bit of a puzzle to figure out what goes with what. So now this collection here is uh, Photoplay paper, and I believe it's called Tula and Norbert? That might be it. So it's a little gnome collection, and I'll put a link up on the screen of the correct name because I feel like I've got it wrong. And while this collection is uh, definitely has gnome themes to it, especially in the embellishment side of things, the pattern papers here have some gnomes, but the collection pack also is really usable for um, lovely spring uh, patterns. So there's a sample of the gnomes, and but as you can see as we flip through these papers, there's a lot of florals, um, a lot of plaids and things like that, stripes, and just really usable spring prints. And I think this collection is very fun and I would love to figure out how to use up more of those gnomes. And right now, I, I, I'm not sure I know how, but I think they're sweet. And moving on here, this next couple of items is by Close to My Heart. And these are a couple of journaling cards that have gold foil on them. And that should resist if you're using watercolor medium. And that's kind of what these are intended for, is the watercoloring look. Now, there's usually a chunky item in these sets. So sometimes it's a... A stamp set or an embossing folder, something like that. So this time we do have a stamp set, and this is a Jen Hadfield stamp set. And again, we've got the spring, the spring theme going on here with some florals and a bird. And this is just a really sweet stamp set. And I'm making a lot of cards right now. And if you stick around to the end, you'll see me go through a project, and it's most likely going to be cards because I'm sending out, while we're in the middle of this pandemic, I'm sending out a lot of cards to people who could use some cheer. Um, and with these kits, you get partial packages of embellishments, what I've said. So these are some of the cute little icons from this collection, and this is by Pebbles. Um, Jen Hadfield Designs for Pebbles, and here's a partial package of some phrase stickers. Um, here's a partial package of what seems to be a birthday-themed um, thicker um, gold foil words. Oh no, it's not. Well, it does say birthday. It also says hi and hello, so we've got both themes going. What I liked about those letters is that they were foam and not a stiff kind of a vinyl product, so I like that. And you can see me diving into the papers here. Again, we've got lots of florals. This color palette um, is, a, I think, a warmer color palette than, than the other products. So that's interesting. And it's got some animal prints going on here. Um, so it's got a kind of a mix of a little bit more elegant with cute and whimsical at the same time. So that's an interesting collection. And I don't like plaid, but I like that plaid there with the, the orange and the blue and the pink. That's really pretty. So I always uh, take these projects and, or sorry, I always take these items and I show you a project to go along with these videos. So stick with me and we'll get to that.
Well, welcome to the project portion. Normally I will do a project that focuses on some sort of technique or some sort of interesting design. Today I want to focus on how to do cards in bulk, kind of an assembly line bulk card making process because I am making a lot of cards to send to uh, people who need some cheer. So I pulled out a bunch of products from the kit that are going to coordinate together um, some larger patterns and smaller patterns, and I'm going to use all these products together in a formula. So part of that formula includes some kind of icon um, image that's going to go with the card. And if I don't have enough icon images, I'll include some extra stamping. And then we're going to need some sentiments for our card. Now I only have three of these, so I might need to pull in something else from my stash. So here is the formula I'm talking about. We're going to have a large um, background image of pattern paper and then we're going to use a strip across the entire width. We're going to use a punch circle to highlight a focal image and then we're going to have our sentiment of some sort. Now this card here has a small strip of sentiment and that's part of how I'm filling in because I only had three sentiments available. I'm going to add some extra interest and dimension by popping up my focal image and we're going to use the base of this design to put together, I believe I had seven cards for this whole project. So let's move on. We are going to fast forward here through my process so that I can chat to you while you take a peek. Uh, when I'm doing bulk cards, I tend to stack up items and cut multiple sheets at a time, and I'm cutting everything to the same dimension so it makes it easy and I can work on everything at once. I get all my card bases prepped, I get all of my layering fronts prepped, and that layering front is the piece with um, larger print graphics. And then I cut all of my smaller print kind of contrasting color strips down so that I have several strips to choose from. And then I cut out some of those sentiments to add to my sentiments. And then I just start building up every card and I get every, um, you know, this is the assembly line process. I get every card uh, done with step one and then I move on to step two and so forth. So when I have all of these uh, card fronts chosen and ready to go, I decide um, how I'm going to add more interest and there's that circle punch that I talk about in my plan and any leftover pieces of pattern paper I had will become um, fodder for punching. And then my strips I had actually cut to the wrong size so here I um, trimmed them down off camera. And because I was able to trim down those sentiment strips, I had a couple extra extra um, pieces left over for sentiment. So that ended up filling in all the pieces I need. So here I am choosing which strips will go with which pattern paper. And I'm sure to choose contrasting um, colors and patterns so that things don't blend in together. You want things to pop. And then I choose a focal image to go with each card. And like I said, because I didn't have a, a pre-cut image for each card, I have to fill in with some stamping, which um, you'll just see at the very end. And then I go through and I choose um, another contrasting color to punch out of the circles and those are going to go behind my focal images. If your leftover pattern paper is a little bit too small to fit a whole circle, don't worry about it. Just leave a flat edge and you can line that up on some element of your design and you can just go with the flow. So we have this basic formula for all the cards, but don't be afraid to kind of adjust and expand your formula. You don't have to start from scratch, but you can add an extra circle, put your paper, or your image at the top or bottom, move it to the left or right. You might have a rectangle instead of a circle. So just adjust um, this basic plan into what fits for your images and your sentiments. And so I've got all of my stuff set up here with the sentiments, the image, the strips, the circles, and then I'll just add the extra images to those last couple of cards. So I want to take just a minute here to talk about some extra elements of design. So with this pile of cards here, I want to highlight the importance of kind of getting uh, pieces to touch each other and to overlap each other to build a cohesiveness to the card. So this little heart barely overlaps the edge of the yellow and the sentiments tucked underneath. This um, 
item overlaps both the pink part and off the edge of the strip. This hello word overlaps the bird and again goes off the top of the edge and overlaps the circle. So that brings cohesion. Now with this one, I'm talking about elements interacting with each other and that little bird is interacting with the H on hello as a little resting place, as well as those ascenders on the letters overlapping the circle. And then this, this pile is about um, flowing your sentiments. That strip says hello, and it flows right into um, the rest of it too. Now here I had to cover up part of my sentiment, but because it's repetitive, when you cover up kind of the middle of two separate phrases, you still get the, the whole feeling of the sentiment. So here is a final look at the video, both inside and outside. I added that sentiment inside, and that finishes off everything nicely. Thanks for joining me. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and get notifications for my future videos. Mm -hmm.